Hello and welcome to IndianExpress.com. The Supreme Court barred the BCCI from releasing funds to 12 state associations till they file an affidavit saying that they will comply with the recommendations of the Lodha panel. In addition to this, the court also ordered 13 state bodies to also file under to undertaking stating that they will also uh, comply with the recommendations of the Lodha panel. To discuss these developments further, I'm joined by my colleague Sandeep who will give us more perspective of what happened in the court today. Sandeep, firstly, we have seen how the Supreme Court has given a number of directives uh, to the BCCI in this regard. What impact does it have on domestic matches now? It is a huge impact. Like it's, it's like stabbing the heart and uh, not cutting the art and just cutting the arteries. Like new state associations form what BCCI is. So uh, to, to stab the heart, which is BCCI, they clog the arteries. That's to put it very simply. Like BCCI, this is the best time now. The domestic season is underway, and okay. there are a lot of uh, home test matches. So, uh, if if this board, if the state associations can't disperse funds, these matches will be in jeopardy. Like they can't host rangy matches, which are domestic. If the domestic system, uh, cricket comes to a standstill, you know that really affects Indian cricket in general. And you need they are hosting a lot of matches. So, if the state associations don't have money, how will they host? Right. Especially, especially centers like Indore, maybe Rajkot and Vishakhapatnam, which are not exactly traditional test centers. They're all making the test debut, so it will impact hugely. This right, so clearly yeah. it will be a huge impact. It on will have a huge impact. Yeah. Also, the fact that how has the BCCI reacted to this entire development? Has have do, what legal recourse do they have after this? BCCI has typically dead batted to these issues. I mean, they have been dead batting and ducking away from all those bounces for quite a while. And they might they might go into a hurdle and let's see what they come up with on 17. I'm sure that they won't kind of comply with the BCC recommendations on 17. So 10 days away, uh, they'll put up a strong face and let and face what they can face. Okay. So the writing is the writing is basically on the wall. Like for BCC, it's very difficult for BCC to get out of this hole they are in. So they'll at least put a brave front. Right, uh, Sandeep, also tell us why has the court sought a personal affidavit from BCCI uh, President Anurag Thakur over his conversation with ICC President? Uh, there was a newspaper magazine report, I uh, think last month, like uh, when Dave Richardson did an interview with David Richardson, the ICC CEO, who claimed that uh, Anurag Thakur will send a letter to ICCI seeking, uh, um, seeking the ICC's intervention in that uh, okay. there is a uh, there's a law stating that okay, these are all autonomous bodies and with no government interference. So basically, it's a last ditch resort, not exactly uh, in a very strong um, response. But this is just trying everything. Right. Thank you so much, Sandeep, for getting us your perspective on what really happened at the court today as far as the BCCI Lodha panel recommendations are concerned. For more news and updates, log on to IndianExpress.com.